An Adeptus Sororitas Holy Cathedral is under attack by none other than the Demons of Chaos. As a warp gate opens, the Bellacor comes through and he brings a host of demons with them. The sisters must unite to stomp out this chaotic horde as it comes through their cathedral. Will this holy ground become a stomping ground for demons or will the sisters of battle push them back into the warp where they belong? Find out tonight on another Monday night matchup. Another Monday night matchup. Are you excited for this one? Dude, look at the board. I'm really excited. Now we get this amazing board. Justin did the tiles. We can go on about this he board. He also painted the pillars. He painted the terrain. He painted... Yes. And you know where you can see us? Like the little details? Join by being a member. And you can see all the nice pictures and, and videos that we did. I kept doing uh, photos and videos as we were doing it. So you got to see the progress of it from cool. just a piece of pink foam to this. And I don't know what the hell you did. I don't know what heresy happened here. Yeah. You somehow teleported in and the sisters are here to answer the call. They're defending the faith. Yep. We got to get these heretics out. Even worse than heretics, warp spawn. Warp spawn. They're coming in, they're coming in holy ground and they're trying to like stomp out all the holiness of you. Do you get a Does weakness that for that? Are you, are you nerfed? I'm not nerfed. Oh. We got a really cool table here with a lot of 3D printed stuff like the pillars. It took days to print, the pews, the altar. There's even like a resin pedestal with a cool book on top of it. Justin spent forever painting it. We painted the whole board. Uh, we matte varnished it, uh, dry brushed it with pigment and it came out really well. The white's kind of hard to deal with, but oh my God, it looks so cool. I actually feel like I'm in a mega cathedral. The deployment we're doing today is sweeping engagement. That puts five objectives on the table, one in each player's deployment zone. Chilling Rain is the mission twist, nothing there. And the primary mission, the ritual. Scoring five VP for every objective you hold in no man's land. So I'm going fixed and I'm doing behind enemy lines and, and deploy teleport homers. You're going tactical. I want to mess with the editor a bit. I'm going tactical. Perfect. And tactical is fun. Tactical is great. Playing demons today, I'm excited. We're in a cathedral. The warp gates are just opening, the chaos gates, and demons are flooding in while the sisters are praying? For what? This is our church. There's a host of demons in this list, and one of them is a corn demon prince, as well as three units of blood letters coming from Deep Strike, and a unit of 10 plague bearers. Remember, Bellacor is leading this list, but he also has some help from the Lord of Change that is bringing an enhancement as well as an angry bloodthirster ready to spill blood for corn all over the cathedral floors. I'm fighting demons today and I'm playing sisters. So it's kind of a faith versus faith kind of thing. Faith against magic, warp, sorcery, heretics. I don't know how they got to our ground. This is our church. Whatever heretics did this, I'm gonna make them pay later. But first I have to purge the demons from here. As we take a look at some of the units in Anthony's list, Inquisitor Greyfax is joining a unit of sisters while the Triumph of St. Catherine's is looking to bring a bunch of buffs to everybody. There is a Penitent Engine or two in the list, as well as Celestine, who is going to be coming from Deep Strike. And a unit I'm really excited to watch are the Paragon Warsuits, led by Morgan Val, of course, and a unit of Celestians with their beautiful shields. Now, without further ado, let's get to the deployment and the game. Let's see who deploys first. Three, two. You pick. Uh, I'll deploy first. So, uh, Deep Strike is going to be uh, the Bloodthirster. He's going to Deep Strike along with three units of blood, blood letters in Deep Strike. That's a lot of blood letters. That is a lot of blood letters in Deep Strike. Two Nurgling squads are in deep strike as well. Oh, the nerdlings. Yes. For me, I have an all infantry list because who's gonna drive a car in a church? That's just disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, for my deep strike, Celestine's going down on her own. Seraphim are going up in deep strike on their own. Mm -hmm. The uh, Ethel Stern is going in deep strike. On to deployment, the plague bearers are the first unit that come down. They go on that back objective. Remember, they are sticky. I'm gonna put my guy with scout over here. Anthony now deploys a penitent engine. It does have a scout move and flamers. Now the pinkies come down as well as Morgan Vol and those Paragon War Suits. Now the big demons drop down beside Bellacor. Remember, he does have an aura 
Any demon beside him will get an 18 inch lone operative. Anthony can't sit back. If he wants to shoot these demons, he's got to get close because Bellacor is going to be rolling with his boys all game. You had a lot more to deploy than I did. It took a little bit. But we're ready to go now. Now we just have to see who goes first. You should time lapse that on the overhead. Yeah, time lapse. Five. Five. Six. six. I, that might be better for me. I'll let you go first. You don't get to pick. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. You'll go first. But first, Miracle Dice. Yep. That's an okay result. I'll keep it. Bellacore is going to fly over here. Like that. Of course it's him desecrating a church. The first demon prince, the first whatever he is. He's, Lord of Change is going to come behind him. The demon prince is going to come in this corner here, knocking over some walls. That is exactly what he would do, actually. Yeah, he probably would. The demons move up. The pink horrors spawn an objective. This is the ritual, so you're going to have to spawn an objective nine inches away from another objective, and it can't be in your deployment. As the rest of the demons move up with the bellicor, giving them a little shade. Okay, Anthony. That is all I can do. That is really all I can do is spawn this objective. I can't reach a lot of your stuff, but I can't shoot you. You can? I can't. With what guns? Show me a gun on any of those models. Psychic abilities are guns That's nowadays. cringe. It I is know cringe. it's mind bullets. I mean, uh, shooting is cringe. So his range is 18 inches. Yes. But it becomes 24 inches. So this is what's going to happen, Anthony. Just remove 10 flatulents. No. no. Just remove them. I, I'm okay. Don't worry about it. They're gone. Look, zero are going to die. Okay. Four plus few, no pain. Before we started filming, Claudio just kept going like, oh, you think Fate Weaver's bad? Oh, Fate Weaver? No, no, this guy, he's gonna do damage to you. I'm just wondering, how do you do more damage than that like giant uh, indirect weapon that could just hurt me? And these guys, the flagellants have a four up feel no pain, two wounds each. What can he have that could actually one shot them? I have effectively 40 wounds here. He can't hurt me. I took a bit of a monster mash today. I'm taking the Lord of Change. I haven't taken him in a long time. He's gonna be a lot of fun. I've been telling Anthony, his spells are really good, especially with the enhancement of, I like to choose sustained every time, but that's just me, but it's just a really good combo with the Lord of Change. So Bellacor's gonna do his big attacks into the Repentia, okay. one big attack. It's 12 shots with devastating wounds and it is hazardous. <laughs> the Bellacor, seeing the Repentia as a close combat threat, he is gonna put his spell right into them with devastating. Uh, hitting on twos. There we go, three miss. Twos, no devastating, but you take two, four, six, eight wounds at AP three, ignores cover. Sixes, one. Nice. Damage. One damage. One damage, one five up. of funeral pain. Yep, you left one in there. <laughs> three. Four die. Four Repentia, go down. Now it's the Lord of Change's turn. There's not much shooting in this list, but the Lord of Change does have some great spells he can do. And both his spells are going into the Arco Flagellants. Uh, Lord of Change is putting everything to the Flagellants. Uh, six shots first from the Rod. One miss. Three wow. wounds. AP minus one. Th and Are they damage. devastating? No. Four Flagellants go down with his small attack. The Lord of Change still has more. Okay, so that's his first gun. Psychic ability, which is now a gun, basically. He's going to do his second one. Wait, this, he's got two guns. He's got, he's got two spells, one for each hand. Unlimited power. Uh, we're gonna copyright for that. Okay. Unlimited. Does not take hazard, but he has nine shots. Of course, Zinch. Is that Zinch's number? Yeah. I nine. Was... Yeah, it's nine. Okay. Why? What did you think it was? No, I thought it'd just be like D six plus three. You just get the max. Okay. That's Come on, absurd. sixes. No. Two. I'm gonna CP one. No. He's good. Uh, only two, Anthony. Uh, only two sustained only hits. Only two sustained hits for, oh. for five more shots. Only five extra hits. Automatic hits. Hits. They just become hits. Wounding you on twos. Uh, there's one one. 14. 14 at AP. You're, you don't have a save. I don't have a save. So you're going to be taking Feel No Pains. Feel No Pains on the Arco Flagellants, and there's only one left. Oh, okay. So one guy left? Yeah. Because I pulled one already. Okay, so one guy's left. So I'll do all three on this last guy. Three, four, five. Survivable. Survivable. No. It is not survivable. So he just gets them, but he, he gets them. I mean, you see why people take 30? 
Yeah, they're annoying. That's why. Anthony putting the Arcoflagellants a little too close, and the Lord of Change erases them with both his spells. Time to charge. That's my turn. Um, very quick. I'm not going to be able to charge you, obviously. I'm still in Bellacor's Oh, right, Shadow. you're Bellacor's aura. So you can't shoot ah. me unless you're within 18 inches. Uh, that's it, sir. Your turn. It's a new turn. Mm -hmm. It's my turn. Yep. Fate dice. Fate dice. Wow, a five. Two and guess what? what? I control an objective with Battle Sisters. Wow. A two. I'm going to have a very nice moving face because I have like 100 models to move. Sure. You want me to sit down? If you want. Uh, you want to take a nap? I'll take a nap, yeah. While he's taking a nap, Anthony moves up all his sisters. They do not move as fast as those greater demons, of course. But there come the Paragon Warsuits and the Triumph of St. Catherine is moving up slowly as well. And we can't forget Anthony's favorite, Inquisitor Greyfax. Greyfax is here because of the demon incursion. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter when you have your shadow. Outside of 18 bullshit. inches, yeah, you can't target. Well, you can't shoot me. Yep. Can't shoot you. Lone operative. <laughs> so I'm just planting the objective over here. Yeah. And I do have one person who could shoot you. Mm -hmm. Morin Vol is a 36 inch range gun. Morin Vol going into the plague bearers with a heavy bolter. Oh, three sixes. You did it. Oh, no. You did it. I don't even have to reroll. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Anthony rolled sixes, all in one take, too. Same hits. Ready? Yep. Die. Threes. Nice. So four at, does your AP doesn't matter. Does not matter. Four, Demon. Five up saves. Oh, look at that. They all go through, and they're two damage? Two damage. So four guys go. Are they two wounds each? Yeah, two wounds each. So five Plague Bearers go down. That's the end of turn one. Not that much going on. Obviously, both armies got to get into each other still. But at the end of turn one, it's 2 nothing for the sisters. Let's move on to turn two, Demons. Uh, turn one was a little bit underwhelming. I think I could have gotten rid of more on the right flank because I need to do behind enemy lines. And I also have to do teleport homers. And I can't get back there with many units if I don't create more space. But I will be able to spend a CP and throw a Nurgling unit back there in a three-inch deep strike, so it can get me a little bit of points. At the end of your turn, I'm going to bring up these guys back into the warp. They're going to space. They're going to space. You heard of monkeys in space. Now Nurglings in space. I can see a perfect like little short story of that, them <laughs> doing like up-style shenanigans. The Plague Bearers move up off that objective. Of course, it's sticky. And the Bellacor goes into the middle. He's going to be followed by the Lord of Change. And on the right flank, the Demon Prince of Corn is going to break down some walls and try to head for those sisters. This is scary. Wait, do you have three-inch deep strike? I do. They'll come from behind there for a three-inch deep strike. They're going to be doing deployed teleport homers and behind enemy lines for me. because You're cringe. There. That is cringe. Thank you. Anthony, being a zoomer as usual... Here come the first wave of blood letters and a big bloodthirster right beside them. Two units of blood letters hit the field. A bloodthirster and all the other demons right in Morgan Fall's face. This is going to get bloody pretty early. Anthony uses a CP and rapid ingresses on the right flank behind the pink horrors. That's a good move. There's a lot of stuff six inches away from me. That's a very, very easy charge for corn, and I'm kind of paper in melee, and he's great in it. I could be really wiped out here, and I don't know if I could come back. It's a little worrying. Let's start with the shooting first. Lord of Change is gonna shoot into those anti-psyker ladies over there. Lord of Change back at it again with those spells. Let's see how much damage he can do this time. Six shots from the rod. Uh, oh. four die. Four sisters go down with the rod. There's still more. Four go down. Now the big one. Nine. Let's see if I roll any sixes here. Oh my goodness. How many more shots? Should I just pick them up? Two, four, five. That's only six more shots. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, those all wound because it's plus two strength because I'm in my warp. It is hazardous to when I shot, so I have to take that test. Ooh. I do take three wounds. You've done more damage to yourself than I've done to you. Yep. So, uh, yeah. They're dead. How many go down? More than enough. The Lord of Change wipes out that sister's unit. Anthony was warned. 
before the game to watch out for the Lord of Change, and that is not a joke. Now this poor fella is gonna get Bellacor in his face. Toughness six, strength six, so wounding you on fours, uh, devastating. Take four devastating wounds. Damage? It's one damage each. The Bellacor spell does four devastating wounds. That's pretty good. So time to charge. I'm going to charge with the Bloodthirster first because I have one CP and I want to make sure I can get in with him. Here's the thing. Can he make this charge? It's a six inch charge because I'm out of the shadow of the warp. So I got the deep strike within six inches of you. Wow. I mean, you could go right That's over the second him. time I've done this to you in, the, in like the first two turns. Yeah, but at least you're not 11 inches away this time. This time, yeah, I only needed one of those dice. <laughs> Oh man, Bloodthirster, you wasted your, your, your charge. You needed that for a long charge. Just as a reminder, the demons can come in with a six inch deep strike because they are in the shadow of the warp. So those demons all made it in with a six inch deep strike. The blood letters had plus one, which would be a five inch charge. They're all in, let's get to combat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go here first with the Bloodthirster because you will definitely wipe out those blood letters. Hitting you on twos. Hey, there's a miss. One miss. Wounding on twos. Hey, Ooh. look at that. Only four. That's still enough to kill four of them. Four up in one. There you go. Uh, I passed two. Two die. Oh, that's D6. average. D6 plus two damage. First one's gonna be five. So one guy goes down. One's dead. And the next one is six. So two guys go down. The Bloodthirster takes down two Paragon War Suits. There's a lot more. I do want to interrupt. Yep. And it's going to be with the Repentias. A good interruption here. Anthony's going to go into the Blood Letters with the Repentia. They're always crying about whatever crime they did in the past. I get. A cock dice. <laughs> that is a cock dice. And it <laughs> goes from cock to hit. And you know rerolls? Oh, reroll, hit roll. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. Wound rolls is only if I charge. There we go. There's a few more. Four. Threes. Five at AP doesn't matter. Five up saves for my demons. Five guys go down. Five blood letters go down. The Repentia do their job. Good CP spent. Two attacks each for my blood letters into your uh, battle suits there. They're going to get plus one to hit because they're beside a big exalted. No, he's not exalted anymore. He's just a bloodthirster. A big red bloodthirster. Yes. So hidden on twos. AP minus two, re-rolling ones, first of all. One, one, one. Did you look at that? A four up. Four up. How much damage each? Two damage each. You kill the last suit, and more involved goes to six wounds left. Six wounds left. Wow. Paragon war suits go down, but Morgan Vol is still there. He gets he gets plus two strength because he's corn yep. on a charge. He gets plus two strength because of enhan his enhancement and plus two attacks. You really need that extra strength to do my toughness three. Well, it's more for the attacks because I'm going to go from 14 attacks to 16. Sorry, 17. That corn demon prince is stacking up his attacks into the Repentia. He should be able to wipe them out here. It be nothing. Yes. Hidden on twos. Amazing, man. Right. One, two, three, four, five. So five sustained. That means five more come in. Holy crap. And I could have popped his once per game ability where he gets three more attacks. Could you imagine? But did you need it? Not at this point. No. Watch one live just out of spite. No way. No way. Two that. Look, the sergeant has a three of save. She's space marine armor. <laughs> one lives. One lives, okay. It's the uh, sister superior. The Sister Superior stays alive, even after all those attacks, they are AP nothing, so three up saves were being made, and the Bellacor slaps around the Pennington engine and kills him too. And four wounds. Four wounds, AP Maybe doesn't- Maybe it's better I didn't sweep. Doesn't matter. Uh, three, save it, and then two will bite the dust. The Repentia takes some damage back from the Blood Letters, even though there's only five in that unit left, so four, of those, Repentia will go down. The Blood Thirster is not in combat anymore, so he will not be able to use his Mortal Wound little shenanigans at the end of that attack. And now Anthony is going to start moving up into a bunch of units here. But before the shooting phase, he's going to deep strike some Seraphim on the left side of the, the board. The other Battle Sisters are going to do the exact same thing. Try to shoot the Nerglings. You want them out of there. I don't want them in my base. It's a lot of miss. But like I said, with my rolling, they're not killable. There's another one and two in there. I know. Not bad. Hey, there it is. Six. 
Six at six up in vuln. I mean, yeah, six up in vuln. So three on one base. So one guy's down to one wound. Really? Yep. Uh, Condemner hits once and doesn't wound. Okay. The Melta hits. Melta doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. So <laughs> one Nurgling's left. So just grab me uh, that and one guy, literally one Nurgling with one wound left. I'll just put one into Bellacor and one into Zinch. Sure. That one Nurgling doing deploy teleport homers is still alive. So mm -hmm. do I hit Bellacor? Both hit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn one to a six. Sure. And the other wounds. So two at minus four. Uh, four up in bones. One goes through. And take seven damage. Seven damage into the Lord of Change. That hurts, but he's still fine. Not battle shocked. And now the Seraphim's turn. In, uh, 24 shot hits. Okay. 24. Wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. And then I have bolt pistols after. You're not going to kill them. Don't worry. I might. Uh, cover doesn't matter. AP doesn't matter. It's. Oh my god. Four up in vulns. Five go down. Keep going. Eight. And eight bolt pistols uh, shots. Okay, so before, I'm not gonna remove anything until you're done shooting, because after all. And threes. <clears throat> Did you look at that? Three more. Three more, four ups. Three more go down. <laughs> I did almost get them, and then they scoot. The Seraphim do a lot of damage with those flamers, and now they move after they shoot. Let's see how many pinkies split. Uh, Most wow. of them. One, two, three, four, five. So I get 10 blues. 10 blue horrors come in after the pink split. They are a very annoying unit and look at them string out holding both objectives. And this Triumph of St. Catherine's is gonna go into Bellacor after he did take a bunch of damage from the Melta shots. And look at that, more sisters are gonna help her out. This is gonna be a lot of attacks. Can Bellacor survive with five wounds left? That's a lot of levels. There we go. So five more saves and no AP. No AP. He goes down. Bellacor goes down in turn two. He is gone. That's going to hurt the demons. While the last sister superior goes down to the corn demon prince. That's the end of turn two. Anthony having a lot of trouble scoring points here because the demons have just come up on him and he can't get out of his backfield right now. But with a little more space created with Bellacor down, I think Anthony now can start scoring some secondaries. Wow, that Bellacor took a lot of damage. Not only did the two uh, Retributors left do that much damage into Bellacor, Catherine herself went in. I thought it was a meme charge going in and she died. No, she goes in, gets lethal hits, kills Bellacor, Battle Sisters helped. What just happened? Bellacor going down, not very surprised. I knew he was gonna get a lot of firepower thrown his way. I thought he would be able to survive hopefully another round, but couldn't do it. Bye Bellacor, I'm sorry. We're gonna avenge your death. Lord of Change moves backwards to go and help out and take care of those Seraphim. They do a lot of damage while the Demon Prince moves up to take care of the sisters in Anthony's deployment zone. And the Bloodthirster wants to deal with Morgan Vall. Look at that, more Nurglings on the right side of the board, more blood letters in the middle of the board. No Man's Land is in the Shadow of Chaos, so they will be able to deep strike six inches away while those Nurglings used a CP to do a three inch deep strike. Uh, Big Bird's gonna go everything into there. Not much they can do about it. Sustained again, six shots. This is from the rod, uh, that misses. These are all gonna wound you on twos. Five wounds at AP minus one. You get no cover here. I can see you clearly. Very clearly. Four die. This will be sustained. Three more. Will be sustained. That's miss. Uh, D3 sustained each. Three, four, five. So five come back. Um, the sustained will keep happening until morale improves. Sustained come in. And wounding you on twos again. Ones go away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There is one left. Okay. One Seraphim left in that unit, but Big Bird is right there and he's gonna be able to take him out in the fight phase. But before that, we're gonna do a bunch of other charges and the most important one is Bellacor into Morgan Vall. She can slap back. 
miss. Sixes do nothing here. Wounding you on twos. They all wound. That's four, six. Four pin bone. Uh, three, three die. No, two die. Two die. Two Celestines go down. Pretty good. And then the rest into the big guy. That many hits and wounding the Morgan Vol on toughness. Six. Threes. That's a bad roll. Three at AP minus two, two damage a pop. Four pin bone. Two damage, so she's down to four. Down to four. Morgan Vol will not go away, down to four wounds left. Let's see what he can do. He, he can be a wrecking ball. Sustained hits on six, not that many. Only two, and I miss one, so that means one more comes in. Wounding you on twos. How many ones can come happen here now? AP minus nothing. Uh, threes. Anthony always complaining about dice rolls, and look at that. Great save. Only two died. Yeah. Morgan Vol is going to go back into the Bloodthirster now. Uh, eight attacks. Eight attacks from Morgan Vol. Into... Plus three for the ability she did in my command phase. One lethal. She's not. No lethals. Oh, devastating. It's devastating. No plus one to wound, though, because I'm not under half yet. Nope. One devastating. And what's your toughness? 11. Cool. One devastating. That's it. Take three damage. Three damage. Very underwhelming. Three damage into the Bloodthirster. That's not going to cut it. He's probably going to clean up that unit next turn. And remember, he does do mortals. At the end of this turn, Anthony draws Area Denial and Storm Hostile Objective. He's able to get those with St. Catherine as he goes towards the middle and takes out those blood letters that are there. That is all Anthony can do. Celestine also comes from Deep Strike, and he's going to set himself up for the next turn, but there's not much more he can do at the end of turn three. And at the end of turn three, the score... 30 to 27 in favor of the demons. This is a very close match. Even though as we look at the table, there's not many sisters left. Let's see if the demons can start swinging it in turn four. Cause you know what? What? I spent so long printing and sanding those. Shut up. This is my church. It's a demon's cathedral now. I know I have a lot of bodies, but Nerglings are tiny. He has three inch deep strike and I need to go up and score Wow, these things are annoying. It's just free behind and free deploy. What is he deploying in a church behind me? Come on. I think I'm good where I am. He's going to shoot. Mr. Lord of Change is going to shoot into the back unit. Is that one unit? Uh, all the sisters here. Are one unit. They all have the same bases. Okay, so he's picking sustained again. But first he's going to do his rod. He's going to try to give you some wood. Uh, three. Two. A rod of ages. AP one. Cover. Good. The one that matters. The one that hurts. Okay, one misses, but I get 2d3 for three more. Nice. Twos. Wow, that's a lot of ones. That is a lot of ones. Take three, six, seven. Fours. I fail. Lady averages. Four. Four go through. Four go through, that means four sisters bite the dust. Okay, charges to declare. He's going to charge into, is this still the same unit? That's a different guy. Oh, that's a different guy. He's a character. He's going to charge the character who's closer. Please, kill I, him. I, I think a 12 makes it. This demon's just like, Hi, Revenge. I'm a turkey. And Bloodthirster is going to charge into the St. Catharines and that little guy over there. Plus one to charge. You're not going to kill Catherine. Six Back. plus two. Anthony thinks... The triumph is going to be okay with that bloodthirster there. You have no CP to interrupt? I will I... go. The Staff of Zinch has five attacks. It's uh, hitting on threes. Uh, so winning you on threes. Wait, what's the strength? Six. Twos. Twos. So three at AP minus four. one. Four at AP minus one. Four up in Vuln. Yep. I was, what's the damage? Three damage each. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't auto pass one. So... He dies. Yeah. He gives me an extra D3 when he dies. Cool. He's near Catherine. So I'm going to get two automatic sixes. And then I'm going to spend a CP and revive him and eat one mm -hmm. to revive him with one wound. Where? Outside of combat, obviously. Outside on this side, because it's funny. Sure. He, he's one OC, right? He is one OC. But it's, it's fine. So now that means 
I get to put everything into St. Catherine's. How many wounds does she have? 18? 16 Eight, or 18? 18 wounds. Hidden on twos. 18 wounds. I will use my CP. No. It's meant to be. Toughness is nothing, so twos. Look at those. Those will be good. Two, four, six. At AP minus four. Make your four up in bones. I'm going to automatically pass one. Sure. And make just five now. Mm -hmm. I pass None of one. Them. Okay. Four go through. Four D6 plus two damage. This can really hurt if I spike. Let's see. That <laughs> is 10, Let's 16, go. 18, 26 damage. Oh, 20, I thought you were going to say 18. It's like perfectly killed her. No, 26. No. 26 damage. Two, because it's D6 plus two. Oh, and you're lucky, you didn't make that, you're lucky you didn't make that bet. And you also made a bigger funny because you used the CP to revive that. Anthony can't revive the St. Catharines because he already used that CP. Oops. Sisters bringing back characters for one CP is crazy, but Anthony misplayed it. He brought back the wrong unit, and now St. Catharines says bye-bye. Bye, St. Catharines. You can't come back. Not many sisters left on the board. The Demon Prince is going to start finishing off the ones on the back end of the table there. Sisters are left. Three sisters are left, yeah. Are they two OC? Yes, but I'm not in range. You're not in range, and that objective really doesn't matter. I'm just trying to keep you occupied. I'm having fun beating demons to death. Oh. Send you back to the warp. That is the end of the fight phase. End of the fight phase. It looks like the demons are turning this cathedral into a demon forge or something like that. I don't know. End of turn four. The demons are pulling away now. Anthony with not much left for him to do. The guys start talking out the last turn and a half because they pretty much know how this one's going to end. And as you start seeing the sisters going down on objectives, Anthony does get to cap one more for no prisoners, as well as teleport homers, so he does get a little bit of more scoring in. This game is a lot closer than you think on paper, but there's just nothing left on the board. These big demons keep wiping everything out. And at the end of the game, of course, Anthony falling short with the Sisters of Battle, and the demons claim this Imperial Cathedral for themselves. So last turn and a half, we had to like, we kind of fast played that because we knew what was going to happen. Even though the score was a lot closer, there's not a lot on the board right now. Celestine came out here, capped this objective, did a few, yep. get a few um, secondaries for you. Cleanse, killed, yeah, she had fun. Yep, you did deploy back here. Because I'm in combat. Because you're in combat, so they, they couldn't kill this unit. They stuck around. So, good game. How did that go for you? Uh, at, the, at first, I was really thinking I was going to just get crushed in melee. Absolute slapped. Yeah. And while you're playing the bongos there. Yeah. And I survived better than I thought. I did a lot more damage back than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. So, I had a real upswing there. 86 to 60, that's a good, pretty close match. It could have went... A little bit farther in one direction than the other. If you had a few more models earlier, I think you made a, might have been able to kill another uh, greater demon. But it is what it is. Is what it is. If the repentance got to charge, oh, that'd be tasty. Yeah, I made sure I took those guys out. You know, especially what those do. ones. Um, but that's it. Good game. Good game. GG. Turn five there. Yeah, we saw what was happening. We were able to just play it out faster. It was a really fun game. It was one of the most thematic games I got to play, and I really enjoyed it. I want to use the board again. I'm so sorry to the Emperor that I failed you like this and we lost a mega church. Thanks for joining us. This was a fun game. Sisters versus the Demons. This is our church now. Like I said, this table was really fun to play on. If you want to see how it was made, join members and go into the behind the scenes and check out exactly every little detail we did to put down the uh, tile from printing the pillars and painting them. It was a really fun time playing on this board and making it. There's gonna be more added to it. We have another piece that we're gonna be adding to it. It's gonna be a big piece. Next time, when we bring this cathedral out, you'll get to see it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, we're Northern Knights Gaming. We'll see you guys next time, and thank you to our first king, VTS5.